Right, it's Saturday morning. Um, what started off with me just taking a couple of photographs has progressed now. Um, we're going to list this cross-shaped um, parachute, um, but I wanted to see whether I could make a hammock out of it. Now, looking at it this morning, there's actually going to be too much waste if I start cutting the, the parachute apart. I think I'm only going to get one hammock out of it. So I'm going to try and build a hammock um, with it complete in the course. So what we've done is we've done two of the ends, we've turned a big overhand knot, um, and now we're going to lasso, or noose I should say, some 650 paracord around that knot, uh, tie those between the two containers, and that's going to give us our tension for, for the, the hammock. What I'm also going to try is I'm going to and this is thanks to Richard Pridu at Original Outdoors, is to, to use these two metal rings to tension and adjust the tension in, in the hammock. So what I've done is I've tied the two rings to the end of the 650 paracord. I'm going to get the end of my parachute, which has got the big knot in it, and just simply noose Says, he says simply. So I've noosed that paracord now around and that has my two rings fixed in position. So I'm going to take the live end, or the running end, up back through the container uh, and then back through. So I'm going to take the running end through two rings and then back through the top ring which will then lock off you see and then I can adjust the tension easily let's go and see if it'll work Now the moment of truth, getting into the hammock. Don't laugh if this goes wrong. tying the overhand knot further um, towards the center. Um, what I want to have a look at now is to see if we can use the other two lengths of the cross to um, envelop myself so I've got a bit of a shelter on top as well. But I think that is quite a successful hammock. I'll do some work later. But I've got uh, another length of 650 paracord and I'm gonna do um, one line from both my anchors and then I'm gonna see if I can make a bit of a shelter. If I had the ground beneath me, I would um, probably guy out those bits that are overlapping. Um, but let's get back inside and see what it's like from, from being inside. Okay, so I'm back in it. Um, if You can't use both ends because you can, then you can't get into the hammock. So you can see if I push that back. There's the, the A-frame line. And at the moment, 
dad. Here's your guide pole. Is, is our other lines there, but you've got a pretty good shelter. Would you say six feet away from where I am? Yes. You could if you anchor it off somewhere else using these guy lines, yeah? You could have your shelter come hammock and then yeah. just crawl into one side. And they just crawl into one end. It's the distance, though the width of that is probably just enough. I'm about 5'11", 6 foot, so they're giving you just enough maybe protection. Um, but for 25 quid for and a bit of extra paracord, hammock and the shelter in one piece. I'm looking forward to giving this a go in a couple of weeks at, in yeah. the in the woods.